I don't know. Actually, I didn't even look up the reason for this. I know it's not earnings, but what was the reason this is gapping? Here, I'm going to quick look it up. Does anyone know? Obviously, a news thing. Yeah, some news. Okay. Google won't bet on it. Oh, the poor baby. Uh, WMP, I did look at this morning. I wasn't crazy about it. Let me look at it again. Yeah. I could take it or leave it. This isn't great. There's actually some good stuff today. So, and SWHC, I think, falls. But, uh, you know, I don't know if, it, if it's an aggressive play. The same thing with this here, this pharma. I, I didn't rate this. This is down a lot, I, which is fine, but, and a lot of volume too, but I just don't know if this sets up early. Oh, yum is over 87. Let's just watch Twitter. Let's make our lives easy today. Let's have one clean, nice play here in Twitter. If it sets up, if it doesn't, then we'll flip to something else. I got a million picks today. I don't think we have to rush around. Let's stay focused on this. If for some reason it reverse wishes or doesn't set up, I have plenty of time to find something else because we have so many things today. Let's just be more relaxed. Boy, look at the volume in this. Ooh. And I didn't call an option in this. Missed out the Netflix. It's almost like I have to watch, what do I have to watch every chart every day, every night? I guess I have to, apparently. To watch everything. That's not realistic. Any questions? Linda, you're asking me about SWHC. We do have some trials in here. We can go over that another time. We're not going to do it today, so I wouldn't stress out about it. Charity might be my good luck charm on Apple because she's been trying to take it for three weeks and then took it yesterday and now it's up to <laughs> you. Charity might actually follow through and close green. And if, if it does, then Charity is my good luck. Good luck. Because for three weeks, she's been trying to take the trade. <laughs> it's taken her three weeks to take the trade. And then today it's up. And it could really run today. So be it. <laughs> this really runs today and closes the nice, fast green. It's all on charity. We'll all owe her. Debating to buy more. I don't know. I think you leave what you got. Because whatever you did... The trading gods in Apple have liked it. So I would just, I would just, I don't know. I don't want to tell you what to do because I think you're the good luck charm here with Apple. All right. Twitter. But say maximum resistance, 2150. No ifs, ands, or buts on the Twitter. Good luck, everyone. Ooh, that's a far away, too. It's a dollar. Let's be aggressive on this if it sets up. No reverse switches. Market strong. And that's all I can say about that right now. Nope, this is just going to drop. Hold on. All right. Hold on, 2045. This is just going to drop. Holy crap. Okay, stopping this is going to be 2055. I don't have the entry. I, uh, just wait. Wait, 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 because it could pop back. Yep, this is the one. Stop's going to be 2045. I don't have the entry yet. And we, we just can't take this on the open. That would be ridiculous. So just wait. Because it could flip around and go over the high. So wait. Stop's going to be 2055. 
Just wait, 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 wait. This could flip over itself and rally. Okay, let's do 09 by 55. 09 by 55 Twitter. 09 by 55. 09 by 55 Twitter. And don't take it till it hits. Just wait. Don't jump the gun on this in case it rallies up. Don't no one should be in it yet. It didn't hit. Wait on yourselves. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. That's off. Relax. Okay, this is still good, though. But I don't know the entry now. So just relax. This is actually better. It's better if it does this. No, it's going to go over 70. Just wait. Do, do, do. Okay, stock's going to be 85, but I don't have the entry yet. Let's look at Yum. Ooh, that went way over 87. Ooh, SWHC. SWHC is short if you want stop 2555. I'm just calling that out of the blue because that is really weak. I'm going back to Twitter, but you could do that SWHC. I still like this a lot. SWHC is valid to the stop at 2550. It's already hit, though. Let's just stay with this here. Okay, stock is going to be 85. I don't have any entries, so no one should be any of them. No, you got to wait. No, that's off too. You just got to wait. There's nothing to do yet. Let's do, this is probably going to go all the way up to 21. Just let it go. Just, I mean, still stay with it, but just let it keep, don't be in it yet. 74 by 2105. Let's do that. Let's just do that. 71, 74 by 2105. 74 by 2105. 74 by 2105. 2105. Don't put it over the high. 2105. This is it. 2105. It's do or die. I'm not letting it get over 20. Here, you can take it right in here. It hit. I'm, I'm in it. I'm in it. I'm in it. I'm in it. Actually, it didn't break that far, but we're still, it's still okay. And we have to stop at 2105. Let's look at the market. And that is it. It's 71. 71 by 2105. If you didn't do it, you can do it when it hit. What's the other one? Yum is going. This is gonna have another entry. You could do any SHWC too. Stop 25, put it at 50 now. Put it at 50, 50, 50, 50. Well, I hope I didn't jump the gun on this, but. We have to stop at the right place. Oh, come on. Gosh darn it. This is a little wild. It actually didn't break this bar, but I thought it was going to. But I'm in. I'm in. Stop 2105. Come on, hold, please. I didn't think I jumped it down on this either. Just say. Let me just double check something, but I, I did jump the gun, I guess, in this a little bit. Let's put it at 2110, and that's it. 2110, do or die. 2110, do or die, Twitter. 2110, and that's it. 
And actually, if it goes over there, we're not going to be able to retake it. We're not going to be able to retake it. So I hope this holds. But we'll find something else to do. I can do two trades today because there's 17,000 GAC. Maybe I did jump the gun, but. Here, if you didn't do this, you could do it right in here. 89 by 2110. 89 by 2110. I can't look at anything else right now. I'm in this. 89 by 2110. SWHT hit, though. Oh, come on, hold. Well, I guess we're going to find out if this works or not. If this rolls over, it's going to absolutely collapse. I guess that's why I like it. It's had the biggest target today. It's got a hold here, though. I'm going to find out. You can add an 89 if you really want to get aggressive. 89 by 2110 is a really good entry, too. Wow, it's going to hit. About a hair of our chinny chin. Let's see. It's going to hit. Wow, this is... I jumped the gun on this, I guess. 74 is the confirmation on the two-minute. I'll look at the other. Here, it's going to hit. Here. Wow. We're in it. Woo! Okay. And the market isn't doing anything at all of any significance. And charities are a good luck charm for Apple. Yay! MDCO. This already went. This already went. I rated it. You could have done it. I didn't do anything with this. Let's see where this went. Ranch Trader did it. Oh, my goodness. It went above. You'd be out. I would be 100% out of that if you did it. 150%. <laughs> 150 percent. Let's see if Twitter holds. Yeah, Twitter's going to hold. All right. So this, if you did it, you have to be all out. You know what to do. I rated the gap. I didn't do this. I didn't, actually, maybe I should have watched two things. Here, we should have done two things. We should have done this and that. Well, I did call this. I should have done two things. If I had done two things, though, I wouldn't have done MDCO. I would have done this and that. This is that 25, the first target. WMT did fall, too. I don't think I would have done that, but it worked. This, wow, look at this. Who's an SWHC? We should, I, I could have done them both because SWHC is not insane. It's actually not crazy to trade. Here's Twitter rolling over. All right, so I got one thing here, but two solid calls, and SWHC looks great. Who's in two things? Who's in one? So the first target on this really is the low of the day now because it's had a big rally. So this really is the first target, okay? And you could add more in here if you want. Boy, I didn't think that, I thought Twitter would run all over fast and said that was the one that's taking a little while. Interesting. And there, this just went. Beautiful move in that. Everything's selling off here. Wow, all of them? Did all of them work? No, this didn't. NVIDIA, I didn't like. This didn't really go anywhere. Oops. This I would not have done, but it did work. And if you did this, I'd be out. I don't know if this sets up again. I'll keep looking at MDCO to see if it sets up again. I'm in this. No one did the SWHC? Okay. Okie dokie. Oh, Jason did it? All right. So here's the five minute on Twitter, 77, 77 by 2110. We gave it a little extra room. It wasn't necessary. It's funny. I thought this would roll over fast today, but instead everything else rolled over fast. So the fast plays were the other ones, but this is going to work. So fast play was MDCO, which did rate 22 points. 
and SWHC, which did rate 22 points. So here, Twitter, come on. Did it break 75 yet? No, not yet. I like the fast ones, and I didn't do a fast one today. This was good. That was perfect. MDCL, if you did do this, I'd be done today. Yes, this is beautiful. Amazing. Now I'm in this, and I'm waiting. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, this better go. It's like, the longer it takes, the longer it's going to take. 941. Let's see if we can lower the stop. I think we can put it back to 05. Let's put it back to 05, people. Back to 2105, the original stop, because it shouldn't go over that high of the day. I don't think it does, but I'm just telling you. There. Fast play was everything but the thing I did. That's annoying, but this still looks fine. Very annoying. Look, you can do this again. You can actually do this again for one more rollover. MDCL, stop 34.75. Oh, it's, this is it's too late. No, it's 75 cents. But this looks like it's going to roll over and break the low again. This hasn't gotten going. This, I think it's done. Twitter, better go. Hmm. Target for Twitter, I said, is the low of the day because the rally was big in here. And then it, then, it, then, then it has a bigger target. But I'm talking about the morning target. Morning target is low of the day here. And I, I feel like I've been waiting for 100 years. It's only been 13 minutes. And why? Because everything else is broke. Everything else, if I'd done anything else, I would have been out of it. So we could have done more than one thing. I wish that I would have done SWHC. But I would still be in Twitter if I had done that, waiting for it to go, because I would have done that and gotten quick out. And then I'd still be waiting for this, so I'd still have to wait. <clears throat> I'm surprised that some of you did not do two things. Let's take a look at this. If this is going to need the 15 minute, I'm really going to be annoyed, but let's just say. Yeah, it's has to hold here. Time of the day, it's 9.45. It's going to work. It's going to take forever. The irony. No, this looks fine. It's just I, this is not a fast play. I, I thought it was. I thought this would be the fast one. I was wrong today. So seventy-seven by twenty-one ten or twenty-one oh five. We lowered the stop back down. But seventy-seven by twenty-one oh five. Twitter. If you, if you want to do it, but if you did something else, I just lay low. MDCO.
Low of the day is the first target in this as well. 33.66, then 33.50. Be careful, this is very late. So let's talk about Twitter. Let's talk about it here while we're waiting. At this point now, it's 946. I've missed every drop off. I've missed everything. I'm not going to be able to do anything else. Because if this fails, then it will fail in the day to get taken out. And I've missed every single sell off. So I'm not going to be able to do anything else today, which is kind of a bummer, but I should have done this. Finally, though, I'm very happy that We've got a lot of things, A, and B, the shorts are in play, working again, when it's been tough for shorts. I'd say the month of September, very tough for quality shorts. We didn't do a lot of trading. There was not a lot of quality to the downside. It was a sign of bullishness in the market. It was an earnings season. Earnings season doesn't start until next week, but we did have a lot of things today. You could have, you could have actually done everything today that I rated, I think. Did anything that I rated not work? Here, Twitter's going to roll over. Um, now, this was this, uh, this this didn't set up right because it's at 87. So this is one of the reasons this isn't it really isn't going big. So this didn't set up. MDCO did, Twitter did, and FWHC did the four things I rated. And it was I really worked hard today to try to find the quality things because there was a lot, a lot. What was the long you liked, Journey Woman? Journey Woman, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you're struggling with with the points. There's only a couple points that you seem to struggle with. I mean, we touched on some of those things in the class last time around. Um, what was the other long? JD? This wasn't a good long. I hope nobody did anything with that. Oh, no. Here, this is rolling over again. FWHC, if you want to comment, Kazi, stop 2510. It's not that big of a deal, 25 cents. Target on this 2450. If you're looking for something to do, because I, I mean, this is not going to do anything to look any better today here. Wow, Twitter is, I can't believe I'm going to be in this trade. This is so long. 948, 10 o'clock. AXP, was that gapping? I didn't see it on the list. This did end up gapping. What happened here? What happened with this? No volume at all this morning, so I wouldn't have played it. But it did open in a gap, and it collapsed right here. Wow, look at that. Let's just look at the... That's insane. One bar was a dollar. I never would have done it for the lack of volume, but it absolutely collapsed. I don't know what the reason is for that, but it collapsed on top of itself. Here, MDCO is breaking the low. It's $33.50, $33. .50. Thunder did it as a kamikaze. Did anybody else? Amex was a downgrade, okay. Remember, lower your stop at 2105 in this. Boy, this has got a hold here. I can't believe this is taking so long. You're out of MDCO? Okay, fine. Look at something. <laughs> I just don't think this this uh, goes higher. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I I don't believe it does. I, I don't know what to say here. I see what it's doing. It hasn't broken yet. I've missed every short this morning, but I just I don't believe this goes higher. I just don't see it happening. So I guess we're gonna find out if I'm right or not. And if not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a loss today.
what is the situation about reports, econ? Hold on, let me just check and see. I'll talk about that in a minute, Trader Lexi. I just want to see uh, if we have the econ out here. Hold on. Wednesday, Thursday. 10.30. No, we don't have anything until 10.30. There's nothing at 10. We're going to have to wait forever now. But I don't, I, I don't know. Okay. Here, Twitter. Wow, what is this taking of 1,000 years? Here it goes, Twitter. Wow, why am I being tested in conviction in every trade I take lately? Here it goes. Here, who killed it? Who didn't do it? Who lost conviction? What did you do with it? We load we load the stock back down the original stock, which was twenty one oh five. I just I tell you what I had conviction in, the fact that this would not rally, that this stock is weak. So I, I really felt like even I almost felt like any rally in it was shortable. <laughs> except for except for what was the number? I said twenty one fifty, which it didn't get anywhere near. Here, Twitter. Wow. We're gonna get it. It's broken. Yay. Let's look at the market. This is the trickiest market I've ever seen in my life. In my life. Okay, let's look at Twitter. Steelheart has conviction to hold it all day. All right, that's what you feel like doing with your life. Um, 1950, 1975, 1950, right in here. Well, we got through this number, this number, that number, this number. Big Fudge did do both. Oh, I didn't know you did both. You did Smith and Wesson on Twitter? Okie dokie. Wow, this went to 33. Thunder, you got out too early. Here, who else did the... I, wow. Oh my gosh, I'm, every trade I'm calling is working. It. This is crazy. Did anyone do this? And I didn't call the first one. I called the second one, but look at the move. Thunder, you get out too early. Who did what in this? Did anyone else besides Thunder do this second call I made? Here was the first one, but I didn't I didn't even look. It's still going. This is nutty. <gasps> no, nothing with yum. I said don't do this. It didn't it didn't act right today. Whenever 87. That's the only one, Ashley, I said not to do, and that and you want to do it. I just called five good trades, one of which I'm in, and I'm waiting for an eternity, but every other one has worked. If you wanted to do something, you should have done SWHC twice, MVCO once or twice, Twitter once or twice. <laughs> this even worked. A little bit spready, and I don't know if we would have gotten filled. Didn't do the second one, only did the first one. Well, Rance Trader, you did the first one, so I wouldn't have done the second one. You get a drop like that, just take your money and run home. Let's look at these things here. Don't anyone do yum, it's not right. <sighs> So this isn't going to turn red until it really starts to fall off the planet. So we're looking for this area right in here. And then it very well could break below the day and just go right down. So, but until this breaks here, we're still waiting. At least we're up in it before we were holding through a rally and negative in it and almost stopped out, but we held through it. So we should be fine now. 
but this has to hit now on the 15 minute. Again, the longer, the longer, then you got to go up a time frame. WMT. This, you did it. Okay, fine. It worked. A little bit big of a stop. There was some nice stops and things today. It had a nice drop off, a dollar two, but this, there was some, this was the best one for the risk to reward. MDCO and really SWHC. SWHC had great risk to reward in here. I don't know if anyone noticed that, but the first one, okay, which I did call. I should have done it. So I had a high level of conviction in this today that it would not fall. I mean, that it would not rally. So if it's not going to rally and it has all the volume, then it really is probably going to drop. So it, I just, I just felt this was not going to be able to pick itself up off its bootstraps today and get bought. I felt like this would not get bought today, no matter what. So unless it reverse swooshed, but it didn't. So I never called an option in this long. If I had, it moved and went. I don't know what numbers I would have called or the price or anything, but I never called it. And it did have a gap up here. This was speculation or news or something, I forget now, but it did have a gap up. It did have follow through. The gap up day here to open at 2150, it did run up yesterday, five bucks, five bucks in two weeks or something. But I never called an option in this. I didn't really like the chart to do this. It did. But I didn't see that the follow through would happen. And so I'm not saying that's why I'm doing it today, but that definitely kind of helped me today to determine that this was really actually not going to rally. <clears throat> it did hold 21 beautifully, I might add. So now we have to break 20, 2050, and then we should hit the low of the day. Uh, Lexi wants to go over Apple. I guess we can do that now because we do have time. What do you want to go over with it? What is it that you want to go over with this? What's your situation? What do you want to do? You had asked me about something in an email yesterday, which write your question in the room. I don't remember what it is. I'll look it up on my email. You asked me something about options. I don't remember. But what's your question on this? We'll look at it while we're watching Twitter. because I mean, we just, just let this fall. What's your question here? I'll look it up in your email, what your question was on the, about the Apple. Hold one second. Because you did ask me something about the options. Okay, Trader Max's question is, is the premium the same as the entry price, which is the bid price on an option? Here's the thing. When you take, first of all, what did you pay for this? Oh, there it is, yeah, okay. What did you pay for this, this guy here? A dollar thirty-eight. Let's look at it now. Uh, Twitter. Here, maybe I'll be distracted in Apple and Twitter will fall to nineteen fifty. Here we go. Twitter. Hold on. Sorry. Wait a minute. We'll go back to that in a minute. Our trade's working. Sorry. Wait. We'll go back to that in one second. <laughs> look. What a lovely distraction. Here. I just. This might just completely drop, and then we're just going to take it. I don't, you can't trade with that conviction. It's a worthless proposition if you do. <laughs> and if you have conviction, you can buck the odds at every turn. FYI, Twitter and Apple. Here we go. Under this is the 15 minute. La la la. Let's look at the 30. I just, you know what? I just had so much conviction that no one on the planet would buy this today. That's, I, I just felt no one on the planet would buy it. I thought no one on the planet will buy this today, and therefore we should short it. <laughs> I almost got I thought, I thought that was the first thing I thought as soon as I saw it. I rated it. I didn't know what it would rate. It wasn't the highest of the ratings. Actually, NDCO worked the best for the risk reward and had the drop off and rated better. But I felt I felt 
out that Twitter, that there would absolutely no person, no institution would buy this today. And that's really how I felt about it. And that's exactly what is happening here. No one is buying it. Here, Twitter. I mean, if I ran a fund, I would not buy this today, but I wouldn't have bought it before, so. Here, let's try to break 50, go. Then I'll go back to Apple. Here, Twitter. Tell me if you killed it or if you didn't do it. Or if you lost conviction, we're gonna go red now. Yay! Steelheart says he's, he's gonna do it all day. Steelheart, how's your secretary doing? <laughs> Steelheart. Talked about a secretary last month. My secretary doesn't like me doing this. <laughs> My secretary is very annoyed when I train. I'm supposed to be dictating letters here. <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> Your secretary thinks it's gambling. Well, apparently it's working today. Here we go. Under 40, Twitter. <laughs> I don't think I could. I don't think I could do this with someone hang, just like hovering over my shoulder, or anywhere near me, or even in the, uh, even close to me. Here, forty-two, forty-one. <sighs> Crap! Do we take half off just to protect ourselves because we've been in this for an hour or half an hour? <laughs> Not too late now, let's just wait. Twitter stock plunges 10% after hours to report that Google won't make a bid. I didn't know Google was planning on thinking about buying Twitter. I didn't know that, but I don't listen to that stuff. Steelhold told his secretary that in any business, the probability of success must be greater than the risk. Very good. That almost sounds like a testimonial. <laughs> Let's see. If you really want to get nuts, you could. Well, let's see. It may have an, an ad in here, which should be lowering the stop and taking more, but I don't know yet. So just wait. Let's go back to talking about Apple. Okay, so what's your question here? You had a question on the on the entry, the premium and the and, and getting in. You also had a question on what else? I think about the chart before I pull up the option chain on this Apple. Is it higher? Yes. Did it gap up today? Yes. Is it falling through right now in this gap up today? No. Why? The market is a little bit red here today. Not that it not that this needs the market, but this didn't fall through here. This wasn't an intraday gap that I would have called long in the intraday. Not like the one back in here. But the bottom line is it still is showing strength and holding everything I want it to. So I thought today this could have a nice fat green day. It's got to get going here soon. Like in the next one hour, it won't. It'll just be whatever it is today. Small baby red, small baby green, small. But this is actually holding extremely well, considering the fact that the market is buying a little bit in here. So Apple it did go higher today from yesterday, because yesterday it closed at 113.05, and today we gapped up almost a buck, 70 cents. Couldn't get over 114. It's interesting because the, re the original resistance was 116, and, every and then it was 115, and now it's 114. So where did this blow? I have absolutely no idea. Could be 114, could be 115, could it be 116. I think any level of resistance this gets over, it's going to blow. I don't think it even has to be 116 anymore. And one morning, we get out of bed and it can just gap right up to here. And then it'll just hit up right on over the area, kind of like Baba did. Baba did the last day. I was out of it by then. But remember this day? It just gapped right up over top of everything and it flew like the dickens. It went poop. That was a really good short, Sam DCO. Okay, so next plan of action is some next drop off here. I'm going to get out of half just because I'm getting tired and I want to book something. So we have to wait. This doesn't even close for 10 more minutes. My price is higher than yours. Here's my price. My price is actually higher than yours. The 
This is what we were talking about yesterday. I said, if you take this now, you'll get a better price than me. Also, um, I did do the targets yesterday. Did I write them in the room? Here, here's the targets. I'll write them. I've never been so relaxed about a trade I'm down in. It's kind of weird. There's a message from my friend Aaron. <laughs> I don't know how to turn off those Facebook alerts. <laughs> I say 122. Here. Here, Twitter. Laughing and crying. Here, Twitter, under 41. <laughs> it's me. That's one of the film guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll tell you a funny story. So, yesterday, I had film people here. We were filming, and he filmed me doing the webinar last night. And he filmed me, and he filmed me doing the webinar, but he caught the back of my head, and then the and then the PowerPoint, but he couldn't get the PowerPoint in. And I'm like, well, if you couldn't see the PowerPoint, and you saw the back of my head, why didn't you turn the camera around or tell me to look or take another shot at another angle? And so he's got, like, the... He's got like the back of my head and the body, and I'm like, I'm like, I can't see through the camera what you're looking at. And I wanted to air the whole webinar with me live talking with the PowerPoint. Well, needless to say, it didn't work out. It didn't work out, but it was it was hilarious actually. Because <laughs> I'm like, what were you thinking? Here, Twitter. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm like, it's a great shot of my back of my body and head. Um, hold on here. This is too funny. Okay, let's go back to Charity's question about the premium. There's premium built into the actual cost. It's a cost. Okay, and then there's, this is a, I don't want to get too esoteric here and too, too out there. Here, I'm, you know the moment I bring this up and Twitter's going to fall. So I'll just do this quickly. This is based on whatever it's based on to determine what two things are. It's time value, okay. Hold on, I'm blowing it up now. And here's the here's the one we're in. Wow, look at that volume. Jeez. When did I take this? Hold on. Let me just see the date I took it. I called it on the 21st. I was late. 22. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11. Wait, hold on. Hold on. We got to pay attention. I will, I will talk about Apple in a minute. I'm just trying to decide if I just want to take some of this off here now or not. If this doesn't break right away in here, I'm going to get out of half of this. I just decided so I can just be more relaxed. So just, just wait. Just wait. We have time to talk about Apple. I mean, the big mover today was MDCO, and this still has huge potential, but I... I don't know if I'm holding this whole thing down. I don't know if I'm going to. No, this is going to go.
Oh, something else that happened funny yesterday. So I was talking, we were doing something else, and my earring just fell right out of my ear and dropped down in my lap. And I just put it aside and kept talking. I just didn't even act like it was anything. I just rolled with it. Well, we got to get under 45 now. I think we do. Here's what I'm going to do, and this is just, just because of the time of the day and nothing else. I am going to I'm going to put the stop for the entire, I'm going to stay in the entire, but here's two options. You could, here, I'm just, just going to do what I'm going to do first. I'm going to put the entire position at 2070, stop for it. And it's only because of the time of the day. Your other option is take half out right here and leave the rest with the original stop. I'm only doing this because of the time of the day and because of the rally it had immediately and didn't break early like everything else. And it did trigger in the 15 minute here and I don't want to see it go over that. Now I've done this before and they've gone on to work. So do whatever you want. Forget what the one that was that did that, but Okay, all right, that's what I decided. Okay, anyways, let me bring up the option chain in Apple and we'll talk about this. You, you pay a price for something when you take an option trade. In that price is bill, built So when I paid, I paid a dollar fifty for this, but I felt that that was a good price. That was a good price, actually. Still, now it's dropped off. If I had known it would drop off under a buck, I would have waited. But it doesn't matter. It still was good. In fact, I was having a conversation with Julie about two days ago or a couple days ago when when it was really falling in after a rally. She said, "Well, you did it on Baba. You paid what you wanted for it. You didn't care." I said, "Yeah, you're right. You're right." So, so it doesn't matter. When you know that something's higher and you want it, you can you just buy it. So you can always try to wait to get a better price. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. If you want something though, then buy it. So whether it's cost one or one thirty eight or one fifty, the bottom line is it's it's still a good price. One is a good price. One fifty is a good price. One twenty is a good price. They're all good prices, okay? The only difference is if you paid one, you would you would be basically break even here today. And if you have what I have at 150, you're down in this. But I've been down in this since I took it because I really took it late on the original call. And then I probably should have waited what you talked about. But in the end, I'm fine with the trade because I wanted it and it's worth it. Still even a dollar fifty. In fact, you could wait until it rallies up to 115 and then take it. And you'll probably pay the same cost I did or maybe slightly more. But the volume on the day that I took it, it was the 22nd. I think that was two weeks ago. I just lost track of the days I counted. Anyways, it had a three in front of it here. It's almost quad, It's almost uh, triple the volume, and that's a good sign. This is a good buy here, though, today, even at this price. This is a good buy. So anyways, there's time value in this. So the bottom line is that this is one month left, one month left in this. So that's how you look at options, but it's moving into the price as well. For this one here, we're looking at several different targets. Let me pull it up. Oh, hold on. See, every time I talk about Apple, Twitter works. 
And that was a good idea here. Hold on. Maybe we should just get out of half of this now. Let's just focus on the trades. Then I'll go back to that. We have we have we have forever to talk about that. Today, tomorrow, next week. Keep talking. Are you in this now, Thunder? I thought you did the other one. All right, I'll keep talking about Apple Chart, but the bottom line is it has a lot of different targets. You gotta decide what you're gonna do with it. Are you gonna hold it through the earnings? Are you gonna get out before then? Are you just gonna get out when you're up? Are you going to get out when you've doubled your money? Are you gonna wait for more? Are you going to do whatever? You don't take it out the last day. You're, you've got to get out of it before the last day, unless it's crazy through your strike by then, which I don't know because the earnings are the 25th and the expiration date is the 28th. I really haven't decided what I'm doing with it. You want my honest opinion. I'm just trying to make sure it holds right now. And every day I look at it, I'm like, well, it looks fine. And I did do the targets the other day, but I, I haven't decided where I'm getting out of it. I have a big position in it. I don't know what I'm doing with it. I want to watch the stock and see how it acts when it hits through those resistance levels. And that's what my plan of action is. I can let you know when I when I do something with it, but I don't know where I'm going to get out of it. Because I also can't tell really what the cost is going to be now exactly at 115, 116. I can estimate it, but the longer it takes, the less that cost is going to be. So where I originally bought it, if it goes back there right now today, it's going to be less than $1.50 because two weeks have gone by. It's lost some time value. Not a lot, but it's lost some. But that's not even the reason that I did it. The momentum has not come into that yet which is a good sign that it's going to move, but I'm getting impatient, but I took it very early. I mean, to do something five, six weeks out is very early, but I'm finding that that taking something longer out is sometimes good. Here, Twitter, it's going to get to the low today. This is a nice call, and I, and I, I did a great job with this. I did a great job with it. I'll probably tell you, or Paul will tell you, whatever the day I'm getting out of it. Because if I'm getting out of it in the morning, I won't be day trading. I'll have to manage the trade. Like I did with Baba. You may want to get out of it before me, though, Trader Lexi. You may want to get out of it before me. If it runs up to some number and you're up, you might want to just take it out. This is your first one of these. I don't think that'd be a bad idea. I don't think it'd be a bad idea at all. Here we go. Twitter, 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 Twitter. Wow, this is a nice call. harder than I thought it would be to break, but what did I say today? The market was higher and it is. Here we go. Twitter. See, see, the apples just pulled in and now it's rallying. It's actually going to hold this gap up today. Wow. We're going to get up an Apple tomorrow, I think. And I think the market does too. Somebody write in the room what econ is tomorrow, Paul or somebody else, if you see it. It's really funny looking, seeing it yourself on camera. It's very different than looking at yourself in the mirror. To process. Here we go. Twitter under the low 2010. I'm getting out any flush through the low. We're up. It was a good solid day. It took 100 hours, but it worked. Steel Heart is going to hold it all day. It, it will close very weak today, that I can tell you. But I believe the market is going to try to hold. 
I believe the market's going to try to hold in here now. So I'm, I'm not going to deal with the holding. Hand on the button here, Twitter. Anything through the little, let it flush down, see if it hits 20 or breaks it. If not, we're out. <sighs> Did anyone add more? I doubt it, but I could have. Here it goes. Wow, nice train. Here, low of the day Twitter. Let's see if it breaks it. I think it does. If not, we're out. No, it's going to break it. It looks great. Wow, does this look good now? Here, there it just did. That's really going to roll over now. It's very slow. Here it goes. It's kind of like a bleeder now. Here. Dun, 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 dun. Do whatever you want. Two pennies from the number out. No. Oh. Woo. <laughs> Good exit. <laughs> I still think this goes lower, but I was like, I felt it. Excellent. All right. Lovely. Um, all right. Who's doing what? Excellent. Great trade. Thanks, Melissa. You're welcome. Yes. Very good. Excellent. All right. Let's um, give me five minutes and we'll talk quickly about Apple, quickly about Twitter, and then, then we're done. But, you know, if you want to be in this all day, your target's 1950. You're going back to sleep? Okay. Very good for you. Just give me one minute.
Okay, is everybody hearing me? I'm having trouble with the room, call Kathy. Call Kathy, I can't help you with that. Uh, so anyways, Twitter was good today. I talked about it all morning. I felt that no one would buy it. So I therefore I rated the gap. And it raised 20 points for the system, and we shorted it. It was a big rally to short today, actually, considering uh, the stock rallied actually where? Up to 21, actually rallied over the 20 period moving average, and I still shorted the stock. Does that mean that we can't, you know, short something over this? No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't mean it at all. It was a good, solid gap. Again, felt that no one would buy it, but we almost got stopped out. We're in five cents, 10 cents, and we held on through. So I did a very good job with this today. And we held it down to the low, and I had a great exit. So can't can't complain at all. Did not get the fast mover quick one today, which was this massive drop off. Some of you did. I rated the gap. It rated 22 points. You could have done it. I didn't know how this was set up today, so I guess I thought Twitter would go first. It didn't, but it didn't matter. And you could have taken more Twitter. You could have been in the heavier. So market, I believe, is higher. It's just not falling. It's just waiting to go higher. I believe the market actually breaks out breaks out, setting up like a breakout play, okay? I don't know when it happens. It could happen today, tomorrow. I believe it happens very soon. I believe it happens very soon for lots and lots of reasons, but one of the reasons is that we're doing this so often now that the more we do it, the more it's going to explode, which means the bigger will, the move will be bigger and big, and also it looks like it's going to do it soon. I just, I saw this yesterday actually when we were filming. The market's going to explode soon. It, it could happen tonight. In the gap tomorrow morning, the market could gap up over all of this and just rally, make a new high in a gap. So it's going to happen. I'm, I'm talking about the queues. The spy is nowhere near the high, but should move higher anyway. So many people are bearish in the market here, but not me. Not me at all. So I don't know what to say. Um, Apple is higher. Apple looks great. You have to decide where you're getting out of this yourself. Um, if you took it when I did, depends what your price is. You may be waiting for a long time, but we did it very, very early. Four weeks left in this almost, and you're just waiting for it to go. And there's nothing you could do. Glad I stayed with the trade. It looks great. This this looks like it. This looks like it's going to explode as well. I don't know what to say. This looks like a breakout play. Apple looks like it's going to break out any second, any minute. Someone actually asked me in the webinar last night that I did if I was short this, and I thought, oh my gosh, that just gave me conviction that I should just buy more, based on the fact that someone even said that. The fact that anyone would even actually think that I would even be in this to the downside. Of course, I know people think that because of the way the pivots have set up here and the topping tail and the lower highs and lower lows. But the bottom line is, this is a great long. This is such a good long, I can't even tell you in a minute. And I'm waiting. And I've waited a long time. And that's annoying. But if I had done it the day that I did the call or the letter, then I would have actually not been down every day. So I just did it late. So I would be, you know, I would have been up some of the days and break even some of the days and not down as much some of the days. So that was a lesson for me to just do it the day I give the call or not chase it and wait. And Obadiah, I got your email the other day about this. I don't I don't want emails like that. I don't want to hear that Google has an iPhone or Google has a phone and that's why Apple's dropping and it lost the rally on Monday. I don't want to get emails like that. I don't listen to that stuff. I don't do anything with that stuff. I don't want to even hear that stuff. I don't want anyone to say anything about a position that I'm in. Unless it's something good, I don't want to talk about it. We're talking about it in the room, but if anybody emails me or says stuff like that, I don't want to hear it. I'm down in the position. I'm waiting for it to go. I'm holding the conviction. Don't work against me. And if you're in it, then don't work against yourself. That's the best thing that I can say. Don't look at that stuff. It's going to play tricks with your mind, and it means absolutely nothing in the end. The chart looks great. It, it's hardly moving. The only problem with this is it has not moving. It's not moving down. It's not moving up yet, but it sure as heck isn't moving down. And actually, it is moving up slightly, baby steps. It's like a baby step. It's a baby step, baby step, baby step, boop. baby step, baby step, baby step, baby step, baby step. So you just got to wait for the explosion. The market looks so similar. Baby step, baby step, baby, 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 baby. I don't know why we do it. My conviction gives you more conviction. Do so you like to hear me talk about Apple? Okay. I just don't want to hear any negative comments or things that have nothing to do with anything. And we did talk about this. We talked about some analysts who come out and say, do, 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 do. And then somebody could say something else against the thing. And, you know, I mean, we could, 
We could, you could lose sleep every night and never sleep. And then how would you trade? I can't imagine what it'd be like if we traded based on fundamentals. We would never have conviction in anything. Somebody would get on CNBC and say, I love Apple. And then you'd buy it. And then somebody would get on the next day and say, I hate Apple. And it would get a downgrade. And then you'd, then you'd, then you'd sell it. You would, you, every day you would change your mind. You would have no conviction. You'd be like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. No, just look at the chart, you raise the gaps, you raise the gaps, we talked about the bar back there in the 14th, we looked at the swoosh, we've done everything we can, there's nothing else to do but just wait. I'm extremely comfortable in a trade that I'm down in, which is very unusual. I guess part of it is the conviction, yes. Part of it is also, I know the market hasn't made the move yet. So Apple is not going to go when the market goes. I took this position also with the market. I know the market's higher. That helped me take the position in the size I have in Apple. The, the, there's no way that Apple is not going to go when the market goes. And I'm telling you that QQQs are going to go. They're going to hit up over the high and make a brand new high in the time that I'm in Apple. And I'm, whenever that happens, whether it's today, whether it's tomorrow, whether it's Tuesday, October 12th, or whatever the date is next week, it is going to do it. And it's going to do it before all the earnings happen that very week which is BABA and Apple changed the date back again. I think I told you that. BABA, is ba BABA and Apple now are the same date again, the 25th. And Amazon and Google are on the 27th. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> this is a list of my Oh, my Lanta. And I told you, Bob, to sell out of it because I, I think you did it. I didn't get a call through the... Uh, <gasps> I said through the last Friday and this Friday, you could do either one. No, I would never have held it. Oh my gosh. <gasps> That's insane. It almost got me insane. I almost ran up 30 points from where I gave that call. <gasps> oh my. I have to get over this thing about not doing more than one thing at a time. I have to get over that. <gasps> Me, personally, I don't think I'm doing any more because I want to focus on day trading. Of course, never say never again, but I don't think I am. But I should have done this, and I didn't pay attention to Netflix, so we would have done something with that. I don't know what. It has nothing to do with it now. So I, I don't know. I'm not going to stop giving trades out, but I don't know if I'm doing the rest of them. But I didn't do all these other ones because I was already in this thing. I mean, the Apple. Yeah, that's the nice thing about having a mentor. If I talk about something and you're in it, it helps you stay with the trading, gives you conviction, a.k.a. Twitter today. If you did this alone, probably most of you would have killed it, or at least half of you would have killed the trade. You would have killed it. So the bottom line is that having a mentor and someone like me to be with helps you stay with the trade. Yes, it does. What do I have? Fuck kids. <laughs> I know myself, so I don't want to tell anything else about it. anything else I'm doing of a downgrade or anything else because the only person you have to rely on is me and the only person I have to rely on is myself. So I want to live in my own world by myself <laughs> because reading things and watching TV and doing all that just screws up your head. And when you don't have anyone to rely on but yourself, then you better not screw up your own head. That's for darn sure. And there's only like one or two people on the planet that I actually say, what do you think about this? And I'm very choosy. And in fact, Paul and I, I had a whole discussion about Apple last week. I don't, I don't remember the day. I, and he, he was like, I, I said to Paul, what do you think of Apple? And he gave me a negative comment. And then I yelled and screamed. And he's like, well, why do you even ask me? You don't even want to hear my opinion. You just want me to agree with you. I said, yeah, that's exactly right. I want you to agree with me. And if you're not going to agree with me, then, then don't say it. And he's like, well, then don't even ask me. And I'm like, fine, I won't. <laughs> That's all I wanted to hear was him to agree with me. And when he did, and I said, forget it. I'm never talking to anyone again then. <laughs> so why you tape recorded that discussion? All right. Okay. Have a good day, everyone. Have a good day. Have a wonderful time. Good job, everyone, with the Twitter.